you should already be acquainted with some basic idea of Python. Then you should have in Python installed in your system. If not, I'll just guide you through some quick steps. We'd be working on VS Code. So we'd, we'd need VS Code, we'd need uh, Python installed in your systems. Plus we'd need the Python Py game module. So let's quickly see how we can get all these. And uh, we'll find you'll find this download python python.org. It's the official website. If you need any documentation related help uh, from Python uh, about Python, then you can search it over here. So you're gonna click on this link, okay, and you can easily download it. Like it starts right away, and then you have to set the environment variable, which is not a big deal. And uh, for downloading VS Code. You write download VS Code and there we are. We download VS Code and it should start right away. Uh, you just have to wait for some time. Okay, so as you launch VS Code, this is what we get. This is the interface that we see. Uh, this is where you open all the folders. This is where you search for your files and this is where you download your extension. So since if we are working, maybe you are working with Python for the first time, you have downloaded it for the first time, you have to write Python and download the extension so that you can work with VS Code and Python. Here I am getting this disable and uninstall uh, icons because I've already installed this extension. But if you have not, you'll get an install button over here. So you click on it and then once it is installed, you'll get a reload button. So you reload it so that you can work with Python on VS Code. So I need to open a folder and so I open a folder here, uh, which I've named as Python. It's an empty folder I made on the desktop. A uh, very simple one. It contains nothing and it'll get opened as soon as I click on this. And then we will add a new file. This is how we add a new file. We'll name it first .py. You always need to give extensions. P .py is the extension for a Python file. You tell VS Code that you're going to work with Python. You might you might say that you only have Python extensions, so why do we need to mention .py? But maybe when you learn a lot of languages, you have a lot of extensions. Then it would be a confusion for VS Code what file you're working with. So you need to mention the extension. You need to mention .py. For HTML, we do, uh, we do .html. So yeah. Uh, let's try to print something. We'll print hello. Let's see. Let's run this. Let's see if it runs. And we have our hello printed. Cool. This is what we needed. Now we'll install Pygame. So to install Pygame, you need to write on the command prompt on the terminal that uh, okay please open command prompt while you're doing this do not work on powershell yes you should see something like this and you'll write pip install pygame i already have pygame so i don't need to install it separately but uh, just on the just to be on the safer side, just run this command and see that you have Pygame or install this. Uh, this is the only command that you need to run. There are no extra commands that you need to run for downloading Pygame. It's really simple. Now we'll move on to the coding and introduction part of Pygame. So let's get to it. So I have made this little code for you. So that you can understand how we work with Pygame. 
first of all the introduction of Pygame. It is a Python module that is for creating video games. You can create a new number of video games like the Snake Game, Tic-Tac-Toe, you can make any space shooter game, you can visualize moving objects, you can draw shapes, and you can do a lot of stuff with Pygame. It has a lot of functions, a lot of methods. It works really efficiently with the latest version of Py Python. What I have done is that I have divided any Pygame code into three basic steps. That is importing Pygame, initializing Pygame, it was one, setting up the screen on which we would see the output, and running the game loop. Okay. So you might not get the idea of setting up the screen and the game loop. We'll get to it slowly. So first of all, importing a, mo importing a module. This is how you do it in Python. You write import and then you write the name of the module that you want to import. Then we have this initialization part. That is pygame.init. Don't worry about from pygame.locals. It's another method of Pygame. We'll talk about it later. Then we write pygame.init. We always write it because we want to call all the functionalities of Pygame and want to work with it. Like display is one of them, dot display. We then set up a screen. The second point, uh, this is how we do it. We call on to Pygame. We get into display. This is one module in inside Pygame. And then we write dot set mode to set the screen. And this is the size of the screen that we give. The x-axis and the y-axis. Okay. So okay. So then we have the game loop, which is an infinite loop. And inside it, we are first writing screen.fill with a color code. I hope you get that this is an RGB color code. If you don't, uh, don't worry, I'll refer you to a website and you can read about it there. And we talk about the RGB colors more in the next video. And this fill is a method that helps you color the background with this color. Okay. Then comes the for loop for the event of the pi game and uh, we talk about this in some time when we'd get some more knowledge about what is happening in this code but for right now just all that you just need to know is there are three basic steps the importing, then initializing, setting up the screen, and having a game loop. Okay. And please set up yourself with uh, Python and VS Code. If you have, if you don't already have them, then install Pygame. And we'll be talking about a lot more uh, terminologies in Pygame, and there's a lot to learn. Pygame is a very vast module, and uh, you'll get a really good hands-on to it if you follow this tutorial. Uh, just uh, to get an example, let's run this. This is very simple code in Pygame. This is a very simple code in Pygame. I have done literally nothing in this. It's just the display of a screen, just so you do not get like overwhelmed with, with what is happening. I'll just run this and see what we get. We get a window that is red in color that we specified. 200 comma 0 comma 0 and that's all that's we get okay we click cross and uh, we can change the size of this window let's see let's do this 200 and 200 let's run this now let's see what we get we get a smaller window size you can even see that the maximize icon has been disabled because we cannot maximize this. We have already specified the size of the screen and it is 200 by 200. So 
Yes, this is a live demo of Bygame. 